so jet lag. I am usually really good with getting over my jet lag, but this past weekend we were in the UK for a wedding in Suffolk. In the countryside, it was so beautiful, but just haven't gotten good sleep, so yeah, I keep waking up at these random times. Came to Paris for the birthday because it was just an easy train ride from the UK and really have no plans for this trip but to relax, kind of enjoy the end of the year. It's still pitch black. But I woke up with this beautiful cake that my friend Monica sent me and it's so pretty. Thank you so much. And I can't wait to eat it right now because I'm hungry. Let me show you guys the cake. That's so cute. Mmm. outfit details before we head out. Top is from Shushutong, wearing my favorite long black skirt from Marty McCready. Then threw on some black boots from Reformation. These are my favorite. It has a little bit of a heel. And then carrying this heart pearl bag. You guys have seen this so much from Simone Rocha. And then headband, Elizabeth Moments, wearing my pearl earrings. And this is the look for today. We are walking to lunch. I made a lunch reservation at this Italian restaurant called Carboni's. I've been wanting to try this place. So we got the mushroom and this is the burrata. We got the cacio e pepe and then the pasta of the day. What do they say about this? It's like artichoke, spinach. These, this isn't green. Yeah. It's a green sauce, I think. It's <laughs> so creamy. Not too long ago did a little bit of shopping i'll try to do a haul for you guys tomorrow i'm gonna have dinner now at the restaurant in madame rev it's a new french restaurant and it's supposed to be really good i'm so excited I'm gonna use this lipstick from george armani this is in the shade 400 I'm gonna change it up a little bit i love this red perfect for the holidays it's like very holiday vibes now i have lipstick all over my fingers but I'm gonna wear the same thing that I wore today. I'm gonna take you guys with me. So we got the pork shoulder, and then I'm obsessed with beef tartare, so whenever it's on the menu, I'll always get that. We got the raw scallops, and then some fries, and this cocktail is so good. I got the white tiger. This is their signature cocktail. Take it easy. Such a lovely atmosphere. Good morning, it is day two, and I've been living in this set from White and Warren. It's this like cashmere top, and I love the pants. Like, um, I might just wear this out for today, 
But the good thing about being jet lag is you get to see the sunrise and it's only like 7 a.m. and we're getting breakfast right now, so. I'm just getting ready to start the day. I am going to head out in a little bit, but I wanted to sit down and share with you guys some of my favorite holiday faves from Missouri. And the holidays are coming really fast, and at this time it can get super overwhelming with things to get for your loved ones. And so these are some of my personal favorites that I've written down. And I think one of the best things about Missouri is that there's something for everyone. There's a wide selection of pieces and a variety of price points. So these are some of my favorite gift ideas, starting off with this jewelry case. I've talked about it so much, but it's so practical and thoughtful I've used it so much and you can get it personalized with their initial also the perfect size I think it's also a gift that you don't necessarily think to always get but when you receive it it's quite versatile this next one is very small but it's a very nice dainty essential piece and it's this like diamond huggy I wear this on my like second and third hole a lot get this in a single or a double this next piece is also very dainty at a pretty good price point it's the pave heart diamond bracelet and obviously the heart makes it very symbolic and it's something that I think would be a great gift to give to your partner or your friends like, or even like a mother-daughter bracelet that you could do together. Jewelry is a great gift because I feel like it's so personal and sentimental whether you gift it to yourself and it's like a milestone that you've hit or you get it from your mom or your significant other and it kind of brings you back to that specific time or memory and then for more of their investment pieces I love their whole diamond collection. The middle finger has the bold diamond eternity rings that I've been wearing so much. On my pointer finger, I have two of the bold beaded diamond rings and then a diamond team ring. But December 20th is the last day to get any of the pieces by Christmas. Make sure you get your pieces before that. You can get 10% off using my link. I'm just about to check out of Madame Rev. This is what I'm wearing. I went for more of a casual look today. I've mastered layering because it's so cold here. A black turtleneck and then threw on this cashmere gray sweater which i've been obsessed with it's from a brand called white and warren threw on some black trousers from blossom this trench coat is also from blossom which i love it's such a chic trench coat i've received actually a couple questions while i've been here have my bag and then my adidas samba then bringing out some mittens these are so cute these are from molly ollie but they match my scarf perfectly and I don't know how to really wear it, but something like this and we'll head out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you, the Statue of Liberty? We are at Palais Royale. They're actually doing some construction back here but these gloves are coming in so clutch it's so cold today and pretty gloomy i'm just glad it's not raining we're gonna go get lunch soon at this french restaurant that i love le petite lutetia and then we're gonna head over to the other hotel and i want to try to find some hot chocolate So I brought my boyfriend here because he's never been and it's one of my favorite French restaurants and if any of you guys are visiting Paris I would highly recommend because it's such like French bistro vibes, really good French food. Do you guys have a seasonal menu or you just totally no, change? No, we have like a seasonal menu. Uh, seasonal. Because I love this restaurant but I was looking I was like oh I don't see what I if usually can, If we can have the after show we have it. Ah uh, okay. If it's not good we change it. Is there anything else would you would recommend? For the starter you like oysters? Yes. You want oysters yes. okay? Yeah. We have oysters, yeah. very good and it's the full season. Okay perfect. Very nice. We'll do that. Okay. So we got the frog leg fries and beef tartare. This place is gorgeous. We're on the 21st floor and it's apparently the third tallest building after the Eiffel Tower and Montparnasse Tower. So that's a little fun fact. I'm gonna give you guys a room tour. I love how spacious this is. This is crazy for a hotel in Paris. And then the view, this is my favorite. You can literally see the Eiffel Tower 
and I'm sure later I'll see it sparkle. Then on this side is a wall of full length mirrors, perfect for a little outfit. And then this is the bathroom. <gasps> so pretty. Again, you get this city view. And now I need to quickly get ready. We are going to go see the Moulin Rouge tonight and I'm so excited. I've seen the musical before, but I feel like seeing it in Paris is just gonna be a whole other experience. So I'm so excited. I'm gonna get dressed and I'll take you guys with me. view of the city but went to the Moulin Rouge last night had so much fun we went to the 9 p.m. show there was a good crowd of people I mean it was packed and I've been to Paris enough where I've done most of the touristy things and this time around it was more of a like relaxing trip but this was one of those things I had on my bucket list I have been wanting to see the Moulin Rouge here and it was definitely worth it it was definitely the highlight of my trip my boyfriend and two of my friends also came and he's a local here in Paris but he also really enjoyed it and he said normally he wouldn't have thought to come so definitely a fun just like activity to do and worth it today the plan is to just work here in the morning and then we'll head out maybe for lunch and go to the Christmas market tomorrow is our last day here and we'll take a train back to London spend about six days there before I head back to New York using the Urban Decay Moon Dust. It's like such a pretty shimmer eyeshadow, but I've been using it as a blush. It's been really nice. Wait, I like this. It's so good. The food is phenomenal here. Now the main course came out. Uh, my boyfriend got the Blanquette de Vaux, uh, a soupy. Uh, meat that's been cooked for a while with vegetables and rice. Yeah, and then I got the, we got the sweet potato mashed with some Chinese cabbage and couscous. Couscous. But it looks amazing. Is it good? Yeah, it's good. back to the hotel we're gonna chill here for a little bit and then head up to the restaurant to tac tac sky bar which is at the top of the hotel as you guys can tell i did a little bit of shopping here let's do an unboxing together i'm gonna start off with chanel i actually took the ribbon off of this one because it was so cute i love the holidays because they always have the best packaging but wore the ribbon as a headband and it came with these really cute charms which i'll show you but like this one this like hurt charm so love the holiday packaging but anyways i wanted to get a pair of heels because i've been to a couple of weddings this year and i've worn the one pair of heels that i have so i wanted to invest in some good heels and also ones that were comfortable when i saw these i knew they were mine they're so cute it's a mary jane style heel which also caught my eye but it's this ah, cute patent leather heel with a bow 
and it came in like this other fabric as well but i like the patent i also think it's just easy to clean as well can't wait to style these this next one is also a pair of shoes i can actually show you guys the packaging on this one so cute this one is also a little heel a bit more casual i have the slingback flat ones that i wear all the time and i had been eyeing the kitten heels as well i've tried them on before and i always thought they looked a little bit funky on my feet but try them on again this time and actually really like them so got it in ivory i understand why it's a chanel favorite love the kitten heel it just gives a little bit of length i mean definitely this will go with so many different outfits of one more <laughs> pair of shoes and we have a little story about this one because i came eyeing the red like burgundy tweed slingbacks ballerina flats but it's been pretty much sold out everywhere because it is a fall collection so after the christmas market we were actually walking around because all these boutiques do different decorations and then ended up popping into the chanel store and it was just my lucky day because they had one left and I just feel like red is the color for this year. I've just been obsessed with like burgundy, red, rouge. They're perfect. I can't wait to wear them. And last but not least, I got something from Dior. This is my very first Dior bag. I've always found their bags so beautiful, but nothing that I felt super strongly about. But like I said, I've been obsessed with red and this one definitely was a winner the Lady Dior in the mini size in this beautiful red patent leather and this red color is stunning. It also comes with this chain so you can wear it crossbody but I actually like just holding it like a little mini purse. Super elegant. I've already tried but I can fit my iPhone and then my wallet, my lip gloss, the essential stuff. Can't wait to wear this.